day viewers. I hope you are enjoying our video so far. If you check our YouTube channel, you notice that we have a video on binomial expansion where we talk of permutation and combination and we talk of Pascal triangle. So, and I told you in the video of Pascal triangle that you can actually use Pascal triangle to solve all questions under binomial expansion. But today, for the sake of clarity and more understanding, I'll be applying a formula to solve this question and I will also be using um, you can now relate it to the previous video where we make use of Pascal triangle. So now, the question says find the fifth term of the binomial expansion 2x plus 3 raised to the power 5. The formula for the nth term, whenever you see term in binomial, which is the nth term of binomial, is equal to n combination r multiplied by a n minus r multiplied by b raised to the power r. Remember, this A is bigger, the other ones are power. So this is what we have. So now, I thought um, on permutation and combination, so to solve this should not be a problem. So let's restart our parameters. Our N is equal to 5, but you have to subtract 1 from N. No, our N is equal to 5, sorry. Then our R is equal to the term we are asked to find. N is this 5. Then R is the term we are asked to find, which is the fifth term. But our R is always equals to R minus 1. So for us to get this, our R, which is what? 5 minus 1, which is equals to what? 4. That means our R is equals to 4. Then um, our A is equals to 2X and our B is equals to 3. So I think we get that. So now from there, now we can now apply the formula. N is what? 5. Please don't make mistake. Look at the arrow for you to differentiate between the two. The power is the N. Then the term, the nth term we are asked to find is your r, and you always remove one from it to get the right term you are asked to find. If we use it directly, the result you get will be the sixth term. So you are asked to find the fifth term, you remove one to get the fifth term. You are asked to find the sixth term, you remove one to get the sixth term. If you use it directly, you get a term ahead. So you have to remove one from it. So we have um, n combination r, which is five combination. Our area is what four. Multiply by our a is 2x raised to the power 5 minus 4. Multiply by our b is what? 3 raised to the power what? Our r, 4. So from here now, 5 combination 4. We have n factorial divided by n minus r factorial r factorial. Our n is 5. That means we have 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 4. That's 1 factorial. Multiply by our r is what? Another r factorial, which is 4. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So this cancels this. So I'm left with 5 over 1, which is equal to what? 5. That means that 5 combination 4 is equal to 5. So 5 combination 4 gives me 5. Multiply by 2x raised to power 5 minus 4 is what? 1. Multiply by 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So from there now, our 5 multiplied by 2x multiplied by 81. So I have to multiply 5 and 81 together. So 5 times 1 is um, 5. Then 5 times 8 is what? 40. So that means I'll be having 40, um, 405 multiplied by what? 2x. So multiplying this with 2x again, 5 times 2, that's 10. I'll write 0, keep 1. 5 times 0, 2 times 0, that's 0 plus 1, I'll have 1. Then 2 times 4, I'll have what? 3. That's giving me 810x to be my final answer. So from this now, the fifth term of this expansion is what? 810. So, and if you use Pascal triangle also, if you solve it very well, you must definitely get the same answer. So you can check the video on Pascal triangle and the permutation and combination to have the full understanding. Binomial expansion, you cannot use the formula. You can make use of Pascal triangle to solve everything. But if you still want to make use of the formula, this is how to apply the formula. I hope you get what we've done. So kindly subscribe on the YouTube channel and on the notification bell so that when we upload another video, you get to be made aware of that. Then always make use of the comment section so that if you have any issues, you put it in the comment box, then you'll be able to see it and address it in our next video. Thank you very much.